Vieni giù. <ride> giù definitivamente. My name is Zain Assad, and today we're going to be talking about Federico Fellini, the filmmaker and scriptwriter who won five Academy Awards. He is considered the most influential filmmaker of the 20th century. He was born in the small town of Rimini on January 20th, 1920. He was a creative child and spent time drawing, creating puppet shows and reading the comic. Le Coriol di Piccoli. Excuse me if I get it wrong whose characters may have influenced his films later. Fellini's style is Italian neorealism. Earlier films were in the style. Later they became more fantastical and dreamlike. Experience and events in his childhood, childhood were reflected in his films. Fellini considered himself to be an artist as opposed to a normal person. He felt that as an artist he was entitled to explore the dreams and visions, the surreal and the spiritual and, the, and to dance with his imagination wherever it took him. He certainly had a curiosity and sense of humor when it came to exploring the human emotions and observing the human behavior. La Dolce Vida was released in 1960 and it starred Marcello Mastroianion, who continued to feature in Fellini's films for the next 20 years. Fellini was affected by the work of psychoanalyst Jung and was also drawn to explore the world sp of spirituality and boundlessness. He even tried LSD to induce hallucinations. However, he decided that he was already in the world of fantasy and did not need it. To try to preview, to preview, mm -hmm. to try to understand what really the coral are in a detached way, you have to become a yogi, you have, you have to... And in a certain way, I have had a very funny experience because just trying to see my set and the faces of my actor and the clothes and everything, just to try to see my set with a detached eye, with an inhuman eye, after two weeks, I even walk in a different way. Do you know why? Because I have done unconsciously 
a psychological operation of detachment from things that it is just the, the result of some oriental discipline, you know? So after the first two weeks, an electrician said to me, but Mr. Fellini, uh, do you have something, some pain in your, in your uh, skin? Do you say skin? Yes. And I say, why? And he say, because you are walking like a German soldier, very, <laughs> very, like a, like a robot. Mm -hmm. And I, I, and, and I have realized that, that it become from the effort that every morning coming to my set and every day for hours just to try to look at things without participation, yeah. like, like the camera. Yeah. It, it, um, so so I, I say that, that episode, I, I've, just to say that the experience to make a picture color can be also a spiritual experience. Yeah. You can become a uh, yoga. Yeah. For him, the actual process of making a film is a way of spiritual discovery, as is the act of writing for many writers. But he's always been preoccupied with the spiritual, the subconscious world, dreams, extrasensory perception, the occult. Once he let a doctor give him the hallucination drug, LSD. It was a little bit disappointing, the experience. I have not the remember to have uh, proved, to have, to have proved a special uh, sensation, no. but, but uh, um, the doctor uh, gave to me an explanation uh, and I am agree with him. He says that an artist lives always in mm. the imagination, mm. so the barrier yes. between uh, the senses sensational yes. reality and his imagination is very vague. You know? yes. An artist is always uh, here and there. Yes. Continue. Yes. So this kind of experiment give much more um, strong result with, now I say a, st a stupid definition, I say normal people, yes. you know? I mean, people who are stronger than barrier of, about the conscience and the unconscious. Yeah. So this kind of drug really open a, a door in, in, in a different dimension. But um, an artist is, uh, th this kind of door are, yeah, are always open. open. Anyway, I, I remember that uh, I have some exaltation, exaltation about, um, about color. Uh, colors, they come to, I see color not uh, like they are uh, normally, you know. We see colors in the object, you know. Yeah. We see objects who are colored. Yes. No? The, in that, in that uh, um, case, I see, I saw the color just like they are, uh, detached from the object, you know. I had for the first time the feeling of what, of the presence of the color yeah. in a detached way. Uh, it is difficult yes, to... to, yes. to uh, but this did affect to, Juliet, to, didn't it? What? It well, affected I think that, the yes, spirit, in a certain yes. sense, it helped the picture that I, that I have done. He compared his own single experience with the kind of perception Aldous Huxley, after taking a course of these drugs, described in a book called The Door of Perception. Taking this drug, the LSD-25, reality becomes objective. Mm -hmm. So reality is, is innocence, is pure, and is of divine beauty. In the same moment that the reality becomes to you in this divine beauty, there is also the the il rovesciamento. There is also the other side. Yes. Reality is just the, of just of divine beauty because we don't give any meaning to them. So is innocence. But in the same moment, to don't give meaning to the reality means that you don't understand no more reality. And reality can appear also like a monstrum, things without any meaning. So there is, uh, you, can be, you can become a saint or you can become a, a, a crazy man. You know? Now this, uh, in Eight and a Half and Giulietta, you have gone into this world and you have shown this element of reality. Do you imagine in the future that, say in your next film, that you will return to the exterior historic reality or that you will have the two <coughs> aspects? I think that even if this road may be uh, is dangerous, mm -hmm. I think that when one uh, has had the intuition or the feeling or has, one has opened that little door, mm -hmm. I don't think that he can come back. Mm -hmm. I, I think that 
is necessary to try to go on with the help of your of your intellectual orbis, with the, with the protection of your intellectual and uh, but also with the faith, with the confidence in, in what can happen. So I think that my next work uh, it will be the prosecution of of, of uh, this Fantasy and dreams are the theme and human emotions bind them all together. Fellini is admired by many contemporary filmmakers, directors and actors. Fellini died on October 31st, 1993 after complications from a stroke. His wife Giulietta died just a few months later. He has left a legacy of fascinating films to remind us to think uh, and feel and, above all, imagine and dream. So the first time I've ever seen a Federico Fellini film was actually the film Eight and a Half. And I don't know actually what recommended me it. I think I was like looking up like films, like classic films, and then uh, Eight and a Half popped up. I ended up watching Eight and a Half with like no subtitles and it was just like all Italian and it was all black and white. And I was like, what the heck? Like, I don't know. I watched it, but then I ended up watching it later again with subtitles. Like, I, I didn't know that it was about a director trying to make a film and stuff. I thought it was just about, like, I don't know. It was just, like, the craziest thing to see without subtitles. I mean, I kind of, like, they said cine like they said some parts, like, you know, they, they said, like, film and, like, you know what I mean? They, they would say words, like, in Italian that sound kind of like American words, like cinema or, like, or, or film or whatever. I don't know. What the heck? But it was just crazy because um, that film is a beautiful film. And that, that film is actually a really inspiring film just to watch. I really recommend seeing actually all his films. All his films are really beautiful. The way that he conducts the scene out, it's beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this brief introduction to Federico Fellini. As you know, you guys could support my independent production company on Patreon. And you guys could check out all my short films and stuff on my YouTube channel, Asad Z-Man Films. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day.